stuff in here. Still bearded, still broken. A little pissed off. Um, so I had my tribunal hearing uh, a while ago, and yeah, well, it seemed like everything was going well. My lawyer did a great job. Uh, basically proved every every single point we could and uh, my, my employer even went on there and basically recanted everything from their original statement and uh, I thought it, I thought we won it well uh, last week I got an email with my decision and my decision, well, it was basically 11 pages of bullshit. Uh, they recited all the WSIB rules and laws and stuff, uh, saying how they accept my statement, they, ex they accept the fact that uh, I'm, I'm an experienced truck driver and this and that, and then they also went on to say that they accepted my employer's statement and whatever and then uh, at the very end it started getting very confusing and then it went on to say how they agree they agree with my employer or they agree with the decision about my wages because Apparently, my uh, my employment status changed from permanent to temporary when I took the job with the employer. Even though in in the evidence they have the ad that I responded to, which was which said permanent full time. So, yeah, I wasn't too impressed, and then. I got told, then I talked to my lawyer and he said that we have to now go to the courts and get subpoenas, so I, I gotta have a meeting with him and go from there. Uh, sorry for smoking, I'm a little stressed right now. So on top of everything else. This injury has literally taken, it's hit every aspect of my life. It's taken so much for me and honestly, now to top it all off, uh, it's costing me my marriage, so um, yeah, so I got to deal with that on top of everything, which is fucking incredible. I don't know, I'm going to have to do some serious regrouping and I'm going to have to see if there's another way that I can go after somebody on my own because I'm, I'm sick of it. Uh, nobody should be allowed to fuck with somebody's life like this. I didn't choose to get hurt. I didn't. I went to work like everybody else, busted my ass to provide for my family, and I hurt myself. It's that simple. And now I have to pay for that for the rest of my life. I feel like, I honestly feel like I'm being punished for something or somebody, they're trying to make an example out of me, and I, hey, I've had enough. So. I'm not sure what the next steps are at this point. Um, I, the hits just keep coming. And again, I'm just fucking sick of it. I, it's, little, it's bad enough that, and you figure it'd be bad enough that I'm in constant pain for the rest of my fucking life. And no surgeon's gonna, no surgeon will, will just fuse my back or whatever to help with the pain. And now I'm 
almost 37 years old and now I have to figure out my whole fucking life again. I've had my life together for a long time and I've worked, I've worked for everything I have and like I said, at 30, 30, almost 37 years old, I have to start from the fucking beginning. And it honestly seems like it's just because I fucking hurt myself. The, men, the mental health part of this, the fucking, just everything, it's... I don't know guys, I got nothing. Um, if anyone's got any advice or something, just put it in the comments please. Uh, I, I will respond as quick as possible. Um, like I said before, I'd like to, I wanted to take my videos to a more positive, like have a more positive spin on my videos, but um, it doesn't seem like that's in the cards right now. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, I'll try to get another video out soon. Hopefully I'm in better spirits. Oh, yeah. This is my beautiful truck. Which is my kids up top there. Yeah. Figured change the scenery too. But anyway, guys. Um, again, thanks for listening. Stay safe out there. Talk to you soon. Do what we have, we take